Hey everybody, welcome back to Dangin' Rampa 2, Goodbye Despair. How is everyone? I gotta tell you, I'm doing fine. I'm trapped on an island with a bunch of hot dudes so far. Who the hell am I gonna complain to? Nobody. Alright, fine. So, we basically met a couple of people in the last one and, and all of our... all of our situation kind of got explained to us, but not most of it. We got put on this island we can't get off. They say it's a school trip. I wasn't expecting this at all. I thought we were going to be put into a school. That was my first thought anyway. Looks like I was wrong. I still don't know if this game is a prequel or a sequel. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I guess we're going to have to find out soon. Maybe not soon? I hope soon. Let me check my pet. Oh my god, you pooped everywhere! How did you do this? Why did you do that? Chibi me? How could you have pooped everywhere? Oh no, her despair meter. Look, it's because I didn't clean up the poop. I don't consider the pets too much of like a huge spoiler unless something happens because of me raising them. If that happens, don't tell me anything there. Are you pooping right now? As I'm looking at you? Oh no, she's just trying to walk. It's fine. Please don't poop in front of me, okay? I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit awkward. Okay, they're sleeping now. Anyway, I think I'm probably gonna have to clean up a lot more. I don't know how many steps I need to like you know, take or anything before, like, checking on her poop. I guess I'll just have to get used to it. Alright, fine. So we are... Oh god, there's a lot of places to go. People said not to use this too much and just... <laughs> in! Even though it would be really easy for me to just do this. Um, people said walk as many places as you can because I guess that's how you level up the pet. And possibly myself as well. I'm still, still getting the, the hang of it here, so... Bear with me. People did say that walking is a little bit better than running. Um, so I'm gonna, God, it takes a while. What's, isn't this the way I came before? I'm going the other way because I, I fucked this up the last time, you see. I walked around like the entire island the, co the completely wrong way and we didn't see shit. So that was my fault completely, I'm sorry. We're, we're gonna go through this a little bit until I get the hang of it. I, the whole fucking game threw me for a loop. Just all of it. Because I, I didn't even think that we would be anywhere else but a school. I also didn't think I'd have Fat Yakia to deal with, and that just... I don't know, that just somehow blew my mind so bad in the last episode. I don't know why. Rocket Punch! Mark it! Yeah, let's go here! This looks fine. That's probably where the food is and stuff. They did say that we'd have food and, and water and be taken care of and everything. Whoa! This is like Target! Yes, I will. I love my cola right next to the surfboards. <laughs> That's where I always buy it. So this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. It's way bigger than like the warehouse in Danganronpa 1. If we're on a tropical island, does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Hey, thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Well, uh, it's just a figure of speech. He sounds a lot like Makoto. I think he's the same voice actor. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all the stuff is poisoned? What? Oh, you certainly are the skeptical type. Oh, of course I am. Even the supermarket is strange. Look around. We're in a gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else in here except us. Hmm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't Usami say this island is uninhabited? Th that's exactly my point. Ah! Oh. What happened? Wait, <laughs> Nagito is just real chill about the whole the whole deal. What is his deal? I wish I knew. It's nothing. Hello. Don't I'm sorry, dear, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. There's two little ladies in here hiding. She's staring at me funny. Um. Oh, she's she's adorable. I Someone- I, I did read some of the comments because my mods are going through them, checking them for spoilers. Uh, someone said, can you please judge the characters, like, based on their looks alone and let us know before you find out what their actual ultimate is? And I said, well, I'll try. I don't want to, like, offend anyone, but... Um, looking at her, she's either the ultimate maid or the ultimate patient? Like, why is her arm all bandaged up? Maybe she- oh, maybe she's one of those people that just, like, hurts themselves at every given moment. What are those people called other than clumsy? There's a word for it, but I don't remember. Maybe she's the ultimate one of those. <laughs> she lives no matter how many stairs she falls down. I don't know. Um, you know? 
Hello? What's wrong, honey? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Don't cry. It's okay. I... Oh, my God. Great, Hajime. You already fucked it up. Why is she crying? Hajime. Yo, bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I didn't do shit, though. You were right there watching me. Bro. I would not do that. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so your name is Hajime? If it's okay with you, may I please remember your name? I'm, I beg your pardon? You're asking me permission? I got it. She's the ultimate bottom. No? No, I'm right about this. I know it. Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... M my name is Mikan Sumiki. She's so cute. From the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Wow, I thought Chihiro was shy. This takes it to, like, a whole new level. Good Christ, maybe she just needs to get to know us. It's okay, girl. We're all right. Oh, she's... Oh, she's a nurse. Well, I was close. I did say patient. Okay, I got two questions about her. Is her hair supposed to be all messed up? Like, cut different ways? And the other thing is, why is she bandaged up? Is she nursing on herself? That's weird. Well, hopefully you didn't get hurt or anything. Um, you know... Um... Um, 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 um... My mind is drawing a blank from nervousness. It's okay, girl. And... I went through all the trouble of preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. Wow, Nagito is a really, like, chill good guy, isn't he? We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. Oh, maybe he's sweet on her. <laughs> she is really cute. Huh? <gasps> isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Uh, honey, I really want to hear about your story, but can you just move a little bit to your right because I want to pimp them them ski goggles right behind you. The little snorkel goggles, the ones for underwater. I'm gonna get me some of them. Well, I guess I'll just ask you since I won't get anywhere asking her, so what's her deal? Ah, uh, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best you get along with her now. If you get wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. It's just... I can't help it. I'm just so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. Oh, oh now that sorry. you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. Oh my gosh, it's okay. I'll be your friend. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Oh no, she's got like terrible self-esteem. Man. Oh, good luck. What? <laughs> Nagito, I did not do that, though. Look at him. He's so judgmental. Ew. Get your eyeliner on fleet gaze off my ass, because I didn't do shit. Seriously, why does this keep happening? I don't know. We're doomed. I'm sorry. No, it's... Please don't cry. Oh, we somehow still got the hope fragment, even though I totally ruined her day with everything. Also, this is gonna get annoying, you guys, because I'm gonna be checking on this thing every- every- Yes, yeah, see? You pooped. That freaking knew it. How many fucking steps do you poop in? I need to start a counter. Alright, everyone remind me to check the poop. Okay, this is very important. Alright, and while we're in here, too, uh, let's look at everything we can. These are military goods. They even carry night vision goggles. I can't believe the supermarket sells stuff like this. That's pretty cool, though. You gotta, you gotta admit. Just as I thought, a blank screen. It doesn't look like a normal television. Seriously, what the heck is it? It looks like a television from Fallout. <laughs> if you want me to be completely honest. Surfboards! Yes, let's do it. It's hang ten. It's a surfboard. That being said, I'm not in the mood for water sports. <clears throat> Excuse me? Oh, oh, okay, you mean, okay. You meant surfing. Of course you did. Never mind. Don't worry about that. Looks like a vending machine, but it doesn't seem to accept money. Do I have to use some type of coin? Oh, maybe the Monokuma coins come back into play at some point. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety, we're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. Mm, cola! That's, a, that's enough cola for me. That's one big cola bottle. I better go flat before you could even finish drinking it. Probably. All right, darling, hello. <laughs> She's so cute. When I said that she looked like Ibuki, 
um, in the last one, I felt it hilarious that when her name came up, I saw that Ibuki was part of her name. I don't know what part. But when I said that, I meant Suika Ibuki, the Toho, the one that drinks all the time. That's who she reminded me of. It's hilarious that her name also has Ibuki in it. <laughs> Hi, who are you? Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. Hello, your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh, oh that's right. Introductions are go go. E, Buki, Mio, Da. Put it together and what do you get? <laughs> Ibuki, Mio, Da. She's cute and full of energy. I like her. Ultimate musician, here we go. Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't guess. I, well, I guess I did guess before I said she was a drunken yes. Toho, but I was maybe only partially right on that. All right, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got hamburger, ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, <gasps> melons. Girl, I am feeling you so hard right now. Let's get it. Come on, binge time. Let's do it. No problem. What is up with this face? <laughs> oh my God, look at her. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Ubari would shop here. It's yeah, a bit racist, isn't it? Man, I'm getting hell stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all of this deliciousness. But to be fair, I totally, I feel you. I am feeling you so hard right now. <gasps> and when I'm excited, I get hungry mungry. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> uh, this energetic young lady is known as the ultimate musician. Yeah, I read that, bro. I got you. She used to play guitar in an all-girl band that was super popular with other high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Poyo Yon Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. What? It does. Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? Whoa, you could hear me? <laughs> Duh, Buki's a musician after all. Get like car. Schubert, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, and Senna, I too am an awesome musician. You lost me at Van Gogh, unless he really was a musician and I didn't realize that he was. Maybe I'm an idiot. I can't remember now. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing? Wait, most of those people you mentioned weren't musicians at all. Okay, good. <laughs> Don't sweat the details. Oh, she's she's adorable. Hey, we leveled up. Does does that mean does that mean that my pet pooped? But that's the question that needs to be answered. No, you're still okay. But I don't know what I'm feeding you though, but we got to watch that. Like that's seriously. Okay. All right, let's go. I guess that's all we need. So I guess right now, the only thing that we need to do is inspect everything that we can in every part and then get all of the hope fragments. So let's just go. Coffee. I'm probably gonna check the pet a lot until I can gauge easily how many steps it takes before that thing has to just take a massive dump. Are you okay? No dump? No dump. I don't want that despair meter to go anywhere. I'm assuming if I want it to level, I have to be nice to it so it gets the other meter instead. The hope meter. All right, the hotel. I guess this is where everyone's gonna sleep. Oh, it looks kind of nice. Hotel Mirai. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps. The Hotel Mirai, huh? It looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on the island, I was worried we'd have to pitch a tent or something. Is that it? Are you no, it is. No, that... <laughs> I'm already there. I'm glad. <laughs> Wait, what? If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on the island. Hajime, sometimes maybe we don't need to sweat the small stuff because honestly, what are we going to do other than enjoy it at this moment? How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Yo, it seems obvious that this area would make for a good base, so... Why don't we look around for a bit? Come on, Hajime, it's all right. Why is this guy so calm? It's almost like he knows what's going to happen, which is making me a little suspect, but I'm gonna hold my suspicions until later. I'm just gonna sit back and let things happen. And that's what you guys should do too. Obviously no spoilers in the comments. If I ask for a tip or a trick, feel free to put that. 
It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? Oh, maybe. That's sad to think about. This is one of those cool places that looks like you have your own bungalow and stuff. You ever seen those places? They look so cool. A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. Oh, that's, oh, they want me to do it right now. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to make you mad. Oh. Aha, so here's everyone's room. But it doesn't look like anyone's here, or maybe I just need to walk around. Oh, I see. Oh, sorry. This is now the Danganronpa 1. I see. Now it's like we're in the school. So we're back. Oh, look. Okay. Do I have to look at everyone's doors? Because, um... Let's just look at one and see what happens. This cottage seems like a makeshift hotel guest room. Oh, is that all it says? Okay. Let's see what Nagito has to say. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, blah blah blah. Oh, it's the it's the same. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to repeat. Oh. Okay, big shit guy is hanging out over there. I'm gonna talk to him in a minute. Big shit guy, you just hang on. Oh, oops. Oh, well, I thought I could get around this way, but never mind. It was very straightforward, and I went the the complete convoluted shit way because that's that's how I roll apparently. Hello, who else is here? Just you? No. You're over there as well. Oh, there's a couple people here, actually. Hey, did you ever take... Oh, did you ever did you ever take that poop before? Because, uh, honestly, if you're still holding it at this point, I feel bad for you. You didn't, you didn't drop it in the pool, did you? What's up, man? You're like Sakura, but a, but a man. I'm down with this. Also, you look like a JoJo. Oh, that's right, you haven't told me your name. I cannot make a, a voice as low as whatever his seems to be, so I will do my best, though. Oh. It'll be tough. My name? I am the ultimate team manager! Manager? That is not what I would have guessed. I would have guessed ultimate shitter, because he said he had to take a shit earlier, or ultimate beat up guys for their lunch money. Team manager, wow. Would not have guessed at all. Uh, hello, I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold on right there, your voice is too soft. Let your voice rise from the bottom of your stomach. Um, I'm Hajime Hinata. Oh no, you can be louder than that. Do it again. Oh, uh, my name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nida. Jesus, don't forget it. Even if you go to hell. Oh. I'm the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! You, you don't need to repeat your name so much. I, I will forget. <laughs> <laughs> I agree to your terms. Whoa, okay. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one? Nope. He's not just a team manager, after all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. Oh, this makes more sense. He's not one of those people <laughs> where you go to like one of those retreats with your coworkers to do like trust exercises. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of and I'm like, wow. How many people has this guy offhandedly killed with like a trust fall? Holy shit, okay, sports management seems a little bit more likely. That makes more sense. He also recruited a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it he's even training that famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. How do you know all this? I guess he really did his research on that Reddit thing or whatever. If all that's true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> With a build like his, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. I guess you're not wrong, but maybe that's not what he wants to... to do. Bye! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right. Hello. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, okay? And I'm not trying to say this to piss anyone off, I'm just giving you the honest truth, because that's what I do. When we first saw these kids in the classroom, I had a little bit of a hard time <sighs> figuring out what gender some of these people were. Um... I did think this was a lady, and uh, I actually was looking forward to it being a lady. That's okay that it's not. I'm still good. He's very cute. 
I thought it was a ladybug. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. Okay, I love you already. Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna say that this guy is the ultimate... I don't know, all he's wearing is a suit and he's got that crazy side piece haircut, like the, the crazy lines and stuff. It's so hard to tell. I'm gonna say the ultimate... Butler. <laughs> you. What are you looking at? You got something you wanna say, bastard? Now, now. Oh, relax, Fuyuhiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves? Hey. Maybe he's like the ultimate mobster. He's small and wiry, but he looks like he could be like Yakuza material if he grows up a little. Ooh, maybe that's it. Maybe he's like in a mob family. See? You haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Ugh. Girl, your your highlight is on fleek. Who the hell is teaching these kids to do this makeup? And please. Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. Are you the Byakuya of the of the actual game now that Byakuya has transformed into something I don't want to talk about? Is that you? Because if you are, you might have a place in my in my glorious hair. I knew it. Yakuza. He is a little wiry for a Yakuza, but sometimes they take those wiry fuckers because they can get in and out of anywhere in a flash. I'm just saying. You got all your fingers, right, boy? You're all right. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um, Fuyuhiko is a high school student and heir to the Kuzuryu clan. I knew it. The butler thing was really just a gag, but the minute I saw his mannerisms, Yakuza was obvious. The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kuzuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership surpassing 30,000. Ooh, like the Tojo oh, clan and... In Yakuza, which I've been playing. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to the Yakuza clan. It's THE Kuzuryu clan, no less? Actually. And by the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. I won't say nothing. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Oh, well, I guess not. Hey, bastard. Yo, if we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? I love him. I love him. I'm telling you right now that he and I, best friends forever. It's gonna happen. I'm also very interested in this little lady here. Hello. The red hair especially, you don't see too many red-haired freckled girls in any kind of anime situation, really. Not, not hey. too much. Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Oh, oh, we made a good first impression, I see. Oh, uh, yeah. You are a hey, boy, right? You gotta keep it together, you know. At times like this is the boy's job to keep the girls safe. You're right. Yeah, yeah. Did you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. Let's see. Um, I'm Mahiru oh, Koizumi. sorry. I'll be counting on you from now on. I never know when they're gonna fucking talk. I feel so stupid. Mahiru. Well, she looks very pleasant. She's the ultimate Anne of Green Gables. N yes? I think I'm right. Oh. Oh no, she's like, she's like Lotta Hart. <laughs> ultimate photographer. That's a good thing Actually. to be an ultimate in. Mahiru is known as the ultimate photographer. She's a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who has won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there is a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed it already. Aww. Oh, honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Huh? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. Uh, same, though. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? Huh? You don't know. That's what the stuffed animal Usami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone, come on! This joke of a school trip will be over and we can all leave the island together. That's all we have to do and we can go home? Is that true? Did she really mean that? <laughs> hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is like really important. Hey. Oh, well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave the island soon. So, there's no reason for you to act so panicky. 
damn, we even so... What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? Maybe it's one of those things like I said. It's one of those retreats where you have to learn who your co-workers are. I mean, to go through all the effort of bringing us here so we can all live together and get along. It doesn't make any sense. Well, you should get along with your classmates, what? right? Mm, I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean, it's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal, really? We're told we're on a school trip without any warning, then we're taken to a place like this? And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! Hey! Oh! You... Don't add me! What about your introduction? I've been waiting, like, forever, you know? Oh, sorry! I'm Hajime Hinata. It's nice to meet you, too. Hmm. I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad. Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. Oh, great. Good job. We fucked it you up again. Do your best. It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Wow. Nagito, I want to like you, but you're being a very judgy Judy about this, okay? Got it. I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Haha, uh -huh, Nagito, you got yelled at too. Now I don't feel so bad. Hang on, girl. I gotta see if my pet pooped. All right. Well, look at that. No, I don't want the despair meter to go up. How do I get the hope meter up? Just do I just... I don't have any presents to give. I guess I'll just wait until I do. Alright, um... Oh, I kind of didn't look around to see if there's anything to look at here. Other than these things. Because you can't really tab to see what else is here or you'll get the map instead. Even if we're being monitored for our own safety. We're still being watched all the same. It's not really a good feeling. And this... Just as I thought, a blank screen. Doesn't look like a normal tele- Oh, it's the same. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to make sure... Oh, hotel restaurant. Aha! Oh, I can go up in it. Okay, I was actually just gonna look at it, but that's fine. Hopefully I didn't miss anybody. I'll we'll find out. Hey, this looks kinda nice. Look at this! So this is the hotel restaurant. Amazing! Oh, it's enormous! We could easily hold a banquet here! Kind of has this tropical, open country feeling. Yeah, I like it. Open, even though we're stuck on the island? Mm. Are we really stuck here? What else could it be? Nagito's not sure anymore, huh? Sorry. Oh well, let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look, there are two people talking over there. Alright. Well, hello! Oh, it's Anpanman again, okay. That's right. I'm having a hard time because it's full of poison. It really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. I, I, I beg your pardon? What did we just come up on? Um, poison. I see. Uh, hey, do you guys have a moment? Huh? Whoa, denied. Yo, Toad, what the fuck are you up to in here? Denied? Good day. Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Hajime Hinata. Nice to meet you, too. Hello there. Hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. Oh yeah, I can't. On the streets, I'm voice. known as the ultimate cook. I did get that about you. I wasn't even gonna try to guess this one because look at he's dressed like it. All right, Shokugeki no Soma, but show me what you got. Would you guys call me the ultimate chef instead. Oh, it has more of a big city flavor to it, you know. I didn't expect this guy to have such a smooth voice. I was gonna give him a crappy toad voice. You know what? I still might go with it though. Don't judge me. Ultimate cook, Teru Teru. Yo, can you make me something, please? Some curry or something? <laughs> I hope we get along well. I am sorry! Oh, that reminds me, I have not properly introduced myself either. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting. My name is Sonia Nevermind. I'm sorry? Is that your real name? Because now I'm not sure. Oh, shoot, I didn't get to guess her. Damn it, I was going to say she was the ultimate waifu. Well, I guess princess is the same thing. <laughs> I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along well. Same here. I hope we get along too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. She looks... Yeah, like Nordic. She must be Scandinavian or something. It's like she has this mysterious charm that I want to gaze at forever. She is really pretty. <laughs> are you enchanted? Well, that probably can't be helped. I mean, honestly, you look like you came from Scandinavia, too, so maybe you guys are related. 
She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess? Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but... It's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful. I'm completely at ease even though she's a real princess. Um, um, this may be rude of me to say, but truthfully I feel happy. Huh? What are you happy about? I, uh, in my home country, I did not have a single friend my age who's standing in society much to my own. So, to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me. I shall praise you. I shall extol your virtues. Extol my virtues? Uh, thanks. What the? I said I'm feeling the urge to drop to one knee and bow. I mean, you could do it. I'd do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, you three, am I being left off the menu here or something? Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru, it's so like you to check out the restaurant first. As the ultimate chef, do you like it? <laughs> uh, I'd be lying if I say I wasn't interested. And since I do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Well, though I like the big city it. flavor of my hometown. A country atmosphere like this is also splendid. <laughs> hey, are you... Understand. Refined? Cultured? The guilty is charged. I was actually gonna ask what you were doing with your hand earlier, because honestly... It looks a little lewd. And now I'm never going to unsee it. Because I'm 12 years old, you see. No, not that. You just don't seem very worried, huh? Worried? What's there to worry about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't- no. Don't give me that two-finger salute, please. That- that's offensive in a lot of places. It means something gross. <laughs> okay. Can you not do that to me? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Petko is actually a bit of a freak. If you catch my meaning. What do you think? Wait, who? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts on that? Oh, gross! Come on, dude! Have a little decorum, please. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, he's a perv, is he? No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but... I feel like Miss Sonya over there has a good chance of putting out. Oh, no. Yo, she's like actual royalty. Her fucking family will probably find you. You see, everyone knows princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? Understand. For example, I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. Boy. This is not honey pop. Don't even start with this nonsense. You're gonna get yourself shanked. Is this dude for real? Yo, he nasty. You nasty. Is that why he was talking about poison earlier? Um, pardon me. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'll discuss this later. <laughs> I better not see you try that again. Mm. Yeah, first you were judging me, Nagit. I think you gotta fucking shadow this boy for a while instead of me. Anyway, when I fantasize about stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on the island. <laughs> oh my god, this perv. With his two-finger salute, they must have known what they were doing. They must have done that on purpose. When it comes to cooking love, passion is the most important ingredient. <laughs> this guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. I don't think he's gonna get anywhere. Hopefully we're okay. Right, let's look at everything. It looks like these are windows, but I can't tell. Oh no, they are. Oh shoot, I didn't want to go outside, I wanted to look at the thing- okay. Oops. Well now I gotta go back up there, because I want to check everything. Sorry. I did not mean to do it. Is there anything else in here? Is it just the cameras and all that shite? Because, like, that's probably not... not that important. Um... Yeah, just these things, really. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Blah blah blah... That's the same. And I think there were stairs, too. Right here. That probably also sends us back down. Yeah, okay, it does. Oh, hotel lobby. Ooh, we haven't been in here. Hey, there's arcade machines! Yes! I'm glad. Yeah, even the inside of this place looks grand, too. If this was really a normal school trip, I'd be smiling by now. But why are we the only ones in the hotel? Now, now. It's an uninhabited island. It can't be held. For an uninhabited island, this hotel looks pretty well kept, and it seems electricity won't be an issue. What in the world's going on with this place? Oh man. Well, un unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to find out in the next one. So hopefully in the next one we will finish talking to everybody and move on- Wait a minute. Before I go, I will check. Did you? You're about to, though. And I freaking know it. 
Oh, it says how many steps you need right there. Everyone was probably yelling at me. Until next growth, 479, but that's for growth. We don't still don't know how many steps it'll take before it poops again. It could be any point. Uh, uh, sorry, ladies, I've got something volatile in my pocket. I'll be back with you soon. <laughs> See you later, guys.